What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your boy, Dwayne. Uh, yes, I'm in the restroom without a shirt on, so mind your business. But a lot of people, and when I say a lot, a lot of my friends, not in my YouTube comments, but a lot of my friends always ask me, Dwayne, how is it that you keep your hair wavy when you just wear your hair curly? Meaning, for instance, like now, you see my hair is very blown out. It's not it's not wavy by any means. It's very it's blown out. I combed it backwards because I know I'm about to wash my hair, but I've been wearing my hair curly. If you guys have seen in any of my previous videos, you have known that I've been uh, wolfing since July 4th. And that was the last time I got my hair cut. But even before that, like I was wolfing. And I'm still wolfing now, but you guys will notice that I do not consistently keep my hair wavy. One, because I trained my hair so well to the point where I, I just brush it and it'll lay down instantly. Excuse me. Or, and, I shouldn't say or, but and also because I have manipulated my hair enough and then retrained my hair enough to where I feel confident to where I know my curls, my uh, waves are not going anywhere. They're, they're set in. In this video, I'm also going to, I'm just going to show you guys how I go from this little whatever ring dink this is <laughs> to my waves. Um, welcome to my shower. <laughs> this is awkward. This is so awkward. But, so, I'm in the shower. I haven't did anything to my hair yet. So, first product I'm going to use is water. Oh my god! Wow! Oh my god! I'm just gonna get my hair wet real fast without trying to get my phone wet. So, now that my hair is wet, I'm going to use this, not your mother's shampoo and the matching set, the conditioner. But first we're gonna shampoo my hair. Put two pumps of that. Now that I've washed my hair, I normally would condition, but I'm going to deep condition today. Um, the deep condition I'm going to use is the same condition, deep condition I used before. Uh, just go ahead and lather this in my head. I take about this size amount. Not gonna fall. Put that in my hands. Rub that around. Put it in my hair. Take a little bit more. Not this much, just fell. Put this in my head. Off my hands. All right, this is where it gets crazy. I use my in shower brush, it's my royalty brush that I use inside the shower, and I just brush it in. Now 
the way I would typically brush my hair, as if I would brush my hair outside the shower. I would brush my hair with the deep conditioning. You see how it's really laying my hair down and it's really getting in there? That's what I want. And then I just keep brushing the way I brush in the home. After I rinse this out of my hair, I'll show you guys what I do until I lay my hair down. So I'll see you in a second. Peace. You know, my hairline is real messed up. Products I'm going to use on my head, first off, I have water. My hair is still a little wet. But I'm also going to use some Orchard Sheen because... Electric chair. I got away from it. It's actually good. I realize my hair likes it. Even though it has alcohol in it, it has some bad products in it. My hair actually has been feeling a lot softer and a lot moisturized now that I've been using this. Bitch, you are. <laughs> And then I'm going to use some beeswax um, pomade also. Only reason I need pomade is because I have a lot, and this is, I don't know how, I don't know my hair porosity or anything like that. Uh, maybe somebody can help me out. But my hair is thick. It's soft. Is it coarse? Like I have a lot of hair? <laughs> or... Is my hair thick? Cause I don't know. I don't know the difference. Like I, I have a lot of hair, but my hair is also thick. Like the strands of my hair is thick. So I don't know. I don't know my hair porosity. I don't know my curl pattern. I don't know nothing. I just know this. Love my hair loves this. Um, so I'm going ahead and put a little dollop up in my hair of that. Oh, chili. Woo, chili. But go ahead, put this in my little scalp or whatever in my hair. Rub it in. Just get it all up in there. I'm gonna take my Torino Pro brush. Can y'all see that? My Torino Pro brush. I don't know, but my Torino Pro brush and then brush my hair this is a hard brush stiff But, like I said, this is the beeswax, and I'm going to put about a nice size amount. Like, it's it's not bad. Like, that size amount. On my hair, just rub it around. Because it is a pomade, it's a loose pomade, though. And it smells decent. It doesn't smell disgusting or anything. It's not bad. And just lightly brush it in my hair even though it looks like a lot it's kind of and then brush it in the back and this is where i like to hand brush my hair 
And then once I hand brush it and kind of lay down the top of my hair, in a way it looks really gross right now, I know. It's, it'll look better in a second. Just go ahead and get up in there with the hard brush and just lay it down. Okay, so even though my hair is not completely flat, that's where this bad boy comes in. So. All right, guys, so this is what my hair looks like. This is what my hair looks like after doing the process. Um, turn around too, so you guys can kind of see the back. Um, but yeah, this is what it looks like. Yeah, hell, hell yeah, I can swim, girl. You, you okay? I'm just gonna brush it out real fast because I do gotta go to work and then put my do-rag on 